Hey guys, on today's episode, we are going to be reviewing the Hammer Black Widow Pink Urethane. Stay tuned. Oh, hey there. Welcome back. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Um, head to our uh, merch shop on Etsy. You can see all of that stuff in the show notes. Um, today, like I said in the opener, we are going to be reviewing the Hammer Black Widow Pink Urethane. It is new, it is hot on the market, and everybody wants one. Um, as an added bonus, we are comparing it to the Rubicon UC3 because it is also an ASIM urethane. Let's get right to it here. So we've got a 65 by 4 by 25 layout on my UC3. So we are going to be matching that on the pink urethane here as well. Um, on my UC3, what I've been seeing is a lot of downlane reaction with this Rubicon. It is a great ball so far. It's really, really uh, smooth reaction, but still like a resin ball. It's really crazy. Um, what I've been seeing some players throwing with the pink um, is a urethane-like reaction, but a lot more uh, hook in the lane. So um, I'm hoping to see, compared to the purple, um, maybe more hook on the lane, uh, but still an early roll compared to the UC3. So we'll see how that plays out um, once we get this drilled up and on the lane. So we're gonna punch this out and we'll get it done. We'll see you out there. Hello, welcome to the lanes. Here we go. So we got the pink all drilled up, ready to go. Uh, I've thrown a few practice shots with the purple because um, we want to really get a good um, comparison of all three here. Uh, we are bowling on Mercury today, which is a 40 foot, uh, roughly five to one pattern. Uh, remember, we've got a 65 by four by 25 layout on the UC3 and the pink. Uh, the purple is very similar but it's just a little bit different. Now, the cover of the pink versus the purple is the same cover, it's the pearl urethane, um, but we do have the Black Widow core inside the pink. So this is where we're gonna see some differences here. We're looking to see a lot uh, stronger reaction out of the pink versus the purple. So I'm just gonna throw a couple more warm-ups with the, with the purple here um, to uh, get my read on the lane here. Cut that in a little. Bad for a first shot, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna stick at the same shot here. I'm looking around 15. Got, I missed right on that one. Got room to the right, got a hang 10. Got around the side of that one. All right, so I got a, uh, a couple of good uh, couple of good shots there. I'm going to switch to the pink and see how that goes. I have not thrown it yet. This is my very first shot here. I'm thinking I got to move left, right? Like, this thing's got to be strong. I've seen Anthony throw a couple of these, or throw one of these a couple of times. Uh, I've seen some videos of people throw this thing. Compared to the purple, it looks like it is strong. So, I don't know if two's enough. I'm going to move two left, and I'm going to look at... 16 and see how that goes. Wow. 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 That actually cleared the heads really nicely. It didn't roll as early as I thought it was going to, and then it just hooked dead left. Um, I'm going to have to move a lot here. I'm gonna go three left here, so I am uh, 28, 29, and I'm gonna look at 18. All right, I hit what I was looking at, it faded a little, so I'm gonna go back a little right. I'm just gonna move one right and stay my eyes in the same spot. That one looked pretty good. Now that one, I didn't see, that one seemed to stay kind of straight through the oil. 
not a lot of movement. So let's see what will happen if I miss a little right. All right, so I'm going to stay in the same spot. I'm going to try to miss a little right and see what happens. I did miss right. It faded, and it's still, still mixed 10. Definitely urethane like. All right, so I missed a little right on that one. And we got room now with the uh, with the urethane. It's got that lay down room with the with the miss to the right. This definitely has the real urethane reaction. Stephanie's making fun of me in the back over there. Yippee! All right, let's see if I can move a little right. Oh, missed right again. Yep. It's just the cover's starting to, to break in and it's maybe softening up a hair. I mean, it's only a few shots, but when they're brand new out of the box, you gotta give them a few shots to really, uh, to really be the, the, their true selves, if you will. So I've moved back right. Now I'm on 25, looking at 16. And I'm hitting 14 because I can't hit a broad side of a barn. I can move right with the pink and play power, which I don't normally do, but it works. Missed on the bottom. These urethane balls are just stupid. <laughs> it makes it easy for me. If you don't have a urethane and you're a tournament player, I don't know why you don't have three of them already. Go get something. Go get something. Go get a urethane today. So would you say it's still urethane like? Definitely. So Definitely urethane like. I'm gonna pull out the UC3 and see what the difference is. Yeah, so uh, before we started this video, um, I hit it with 500 to 1,000 um, on the spinner because I've, had, I've obviously been bowling with it. So uh, I wanted to make sure that the box finish was correct um, to give it the real, uh, the real comparison here. So I'm going to stand in the exact same location, throw in the exact same spot and see where, see where we're at. Got a little on the side on that one. Okay, so this is where the difference lies. That was the first shot with the UC. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. I did, I did throw some practice shots with the UC3, but here's the difference. UC3 down lane grabs the dry and hooks. The pink urethane is much more, much more like urethane, where it actually is straighter through the back end. It rolls forward, rolls straighter. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have to move left with the UC3. That was pretty good. So, UC3, I'm standing 30, looking 20. Pink urethane, I was standing 27, looking 18. And purple, I believe, if I remember correctly, I was standing 24, looking 15-ish. All right, guys, we're all set throwing shots. Let's head back in the pro shop and we'll uh, discuss what we uh, found out today. What's up guys, we just got done throwing the Black Widow pink urethane. Um, we also were throwing the Rubicon UC3 and the purple urethane. Um, I will tell you, first thing uh, out of the gate here, uh, it is already a great ball. Um, compared to the purple, I'll, I'll say first, um, it is definitely a stronger ball. I was carrying a few more shots that I would not normally have carried uh, based on the stronger back ends. Um, and ability to move in a little bit more than the purple. Um, compared to the UC3, uh, the UC3 is much stronger. I can get way farther in um, with the UC3. Uh, that ball reacts much more like resin than this. This is a much more true urethane cover, acts much more like a, a true urethane. The roll is much more steady, much more controllable. Um, but uh, all three are great balls. Um, Will I take this in my tournament bag? Of course I will. <laughs> um, 
just the just the ability to have multiple options. Um, if I have to go way right, um, that's probably going to be my purple ball. Um, if I can go a little farther in, the pink is going to be good. Um, I don't know that the UC3 is even in the realm of these two because it's just such a stronger ball. It's more like a resin and it's much more down lane reaction, much more angular. Um, all right, so who's going to use this ball? Uh, is this a tournament ball? Is this a house shot ball? I would say this is much more flat pattern, control the lane, tournament type ball. Um, the average bowler that's bowling in house shots only, I wouldn't necessarily suggest it for. Most of your house shots have a lot of friction and this ball is going to die in the friction early. Uh, that's where you need your, your resin balls that are going to get through the friction and down lane and hook. Um, so if you're bowling in primarily house shots, I would only use resin, not a urethane ball. If you're bowling in tournaments, if you're a tournament bowler, I've said this a bunch of times, you should be using urethane. You should have a urethane ball in your bag. If you're a high rev player or a two-handed player, which you're typically a high rev player, you should have a urethane ball. It will definitely benefit your game. It will control the lane. And what I mean is you will not have a lot of skid flip. It will even out the lane. It'll even give you a little room in the heads. If you saw during the, during the beginning of the video, I had a few boards of lay down on a five to one, which is pretty typical anyway, but even when we bowl on harder stuff like two to ones, I even have one and a half to sometimes even three boards of lay down with urethane balls. Get yourself a urethane. It doesn't matter what it is. I, I obviously prefer the, the purple and I even like this ball. Other people prefer uh, the fast pitches or the pitch purples or the um, pitch black, yeah. Um, anyway, so get yourself a urethane um, because uh, it will just improve your tournament play all day. All right, guys, so visit your uh, local pro shop operator, pick one of these up, and it will definitely improve your game if you are a tournament player. Like, subscribe, click the bell to get alerts. Uh, you can catch our uh, podcast every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and if you can't watch, you can always listen on your favorite podcast outlet, and you can visit our merch shop on Etsy. All right, guys, we'll catch you next time. Have a good one. Peace.